you know, there's a massive exodus of men not wanting to have a relationship with women. Because uh, women are becoming more and more self-entitled, selfish, and downright just pure misandrous. And I don't really blame them for not wanting to get married because, you know, thanks to feminism, it's becoming more and more like, you know, imprisonment. At least for these men. Me? I'm not giving up on women. Not entirely. I know there are women out there that is against feminism. And that's what gives me hope for women. Because th these people are not stupid. They're not mindless zombies, unlike these feminists. However, it seems that now the concept of marriage is now sexist. At least according to this feminist. Dress it up, subvert it, deny it all you want. Marriage is an institution that has curtailed women's freedom for centuries. I'm not going to pretend that around the world marriage is the most, the best thing to, to happen to a woman. No. There are women that's being auctioned off to be married to some man. Uh, for example, in India, I believe around your 18th birthday you're going to get married. Um, I don't know all the details. I do know, in fact, that there was arranged marriages. Um, I got the source from a gay Indian um, that I uh, met about one and a half years ago who wanted to come to America to be away from the uh, toxicity of India. You know, India is known to being anti-gay, anti-trans. You know, you get stoned to death if you turn out to be gay. And it's even worse if you turn out to be trans. But I'm also not going to turn away the other cheek about how marriage is this, you know, so-called uh, enslavement of women because it's consensual. You know, just like sex, it's consensual. Two people come together in holy matrimony and, you know, decided that they should spend their lives together as a family. Raising kids and, you know, um, having a home for themselves and living their lives together for the, you know, at the end of time. Blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. So... You know, if, if you want to get married, you know, as long as it's consensual marriage, i.e. the person is human and is able to understand what marriage is. So no, you're not allowed to marry a child. No, you're not allowed to marry a dog or a cat, whatever the fuck. As long as it's consensual marriage, I have no, no, just no nothing to say about it, okay? But instead of rejecting the patriarchal and outdated tradition, some feminists have decided to reclaim it. If only a feminist can get married at all. We may have progressed since the Industrial Revolution, where Mary Wollstonecraft described marriage as little more than a state of legal prostitution. I have nothing to say. Like, really? Really? Marriage, you're going to compare marriage to prostitution? Okay, fuck it. But let's not kid ourselves. Even today, marriage is not about equality. Well, it all depends on what you define as equality in this instance. In my opinion, it kind of does bring equality to two people because they're, all, they're both on the same leveling field. You know, they both share the exact same responsibilities. They both share parenthood if they plan to have children. Doesn't matter on where this is a straight couple or a gay couple. They still share responsibility as parents. So, in a strange, fucked up way, marriage does kind of bring equality to two people. Yeah, who knew? But 
you know, even if, you know, this is a gay or lesbian couple we're talking about, apparently it's still fucking sexist to be married. It's about perpetuating male privilege. Evil cisgender white men! Being given away by your father may seem cute and romantic, but it stems from a time when women were seen literally as their fathers and then their husband's property. But we don't see women as property. This is just a, you know, tradition that people do. And, well, if you don't want to perform this tradition, that's fine. No one's going to judge you well, except for maybe a handful of Christians. I know a few. Westboro Baptist Church. But, like you said, you know, you could subvert it, avert it, or whatever the f vert it you want to call it. You know, marriage is marriage, and therefore, it's evil, you know. The majority of brides still opt for a white gown. Beautiful, yes indeed. But the implication that brides should be virgins is both ludicrous and insulting to women. I hardly any know anyone who would actually believe in this shit. In fact, the only people that might actually still believe in this shit is evangelical Christians. Or, you know, one of those Westboro Baptist church types, if you know what I'm saying. That a female who has had sex is somehow spoilt goods goes against everything feminists claim to stand for. What you're saying is Zoe Quinn is not a real feminist? I know feminists who've taken their husband's name because they say it's easier. Easier than changing your passport email address, utilities bills, and bank account details, I suppose. In certain aspects, yes it is. But what if some of these feminists, you know, decide to change their last name because they have some form of religious belief? I, for one, have no problem if, if it's under, if it's like for a religious belief. I may be an atheist, but I'm not so anti-theist that I have to oppose religious ideologies. Hell, I talked to an old lady who told me that, you know, she respect my beliefs as an atheist, but wishes to convert me into a Christian. I'm probably never going to convert into a Christian because despite, you know, you know, me seeing things in a much more clear light when it comes to religion, I am still not going to become an, a Christian anytime soon. Sorry, Swift Sky. I'm just, I just can't be a Christian. You're basically being branded. So anyone who sees your name knows immediately who you belong to. It's the same thing as being branded like a fucking animal. Seriously, have you never heard of fucking loyalty? Even if a woman does away with all these traditions, accept it. Marriage can never be a feminist act. Once again, even if this is a gay marriage or a lesbian marriage or a non-binary marriage, you know, seeing that being non-binary is a thing, somehow it is not a feminist act. Exactly what is a feminist act anyway? What is it supposed to look like? Jesus. I think you're just venting out your frustration that you'll never get married because you look like a piece of shit. It has formed the backdrop to women's oppression for centuries, and it continues to do so. Forced marriage, child brides and polygamy. Like I said, I'm against marriages that are being forced, like I pointed out, in India. However, what you're saying that all marriages, may it be straight, gay, lesbian, non-binary, whatever the fuck, any form of marriage is basically a non-feminist act. Which is totally fine by me. But really? <laughs> you have an issue with marriage because, you know, you're being branded off as nothing more as mere fucking property all show how human rights violations of women and girls all too often go hand in hand with marriage. It was not until 1991 that rape in marriage was made a criminal offence in England and Wales. At least progress is being made, right? Right? And today, 
it's still perfectly legal for a man to rape his wife in 47 countries worldwide. So if you want to get married, then just get on with it. Yeah, you should just rip it off like a goddamn bandit. Just get it over with. All those moments that you're having right now, you know, getting married, they're all lies. Your happiness, it's fake. What you're really doing is lying to yourself. You know that you're selling yourself into slavery and you should be ashamed of it. You are a fucking whore. You don't even deserve any fucking condoms. You know, I hope you have like eight and or nine kids and being fucking decked because that's what you deserve for getting married to a man. Because men are evil. You're the fucking devil. <sighs> but please stop pretending that because you're a feminist, it's some kind of subversive statement. It doesn't matter if you end up submitting your husband into submission and you're the one who's abusing him, you're still the slave. Just ask these shives. I love Snoop Dogg, despite his woman-hating lyrics. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. But I don't pretend that listening to him is a feminist act. Well, doing mundane things is not a feminist act. Eating an apple is not a feminist act. Taking a shit in a toilet is not a feminist act. Saving someone's life is not a feminist act. I need to know, what exactly is a feminist act? And women should stop pretending that marriage is anything other than a tool for their own oppression. Because once you get married, you're nothing more than mere fucking property for the man. So if he asks you to bend down and, you know, take it in like a little bitch, you better do what he says. Anyway, as the late human rights lawyer Paula Ettelbrick said, marriage is a great institution, if you like living in institutions. I doubt you're gonna have kids on your own. You know, I definitely don't see you getting married and I definitely don't want you having kids because if you did, your kids were, were gonna end up looking up to you and they're gonna seek out for some goddamn advice and you're going to end up mind-fucking them into your own goddamn narcissistic beliefs. Fuck you. But hey, at least you're getting your wish that more people are not getting married. But you want to know who doesn't want to get married? It's not the women, but the men. MGTOW motherfuckers, I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming on.